Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I will be showing you how you can create an invoice in your Microsoft Excel. And our target here is this invoice. The calculation should be automatically generated. The ID should be automatically generated as well as the print functions. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start at the first cell by putting the number. Okay, that's the rule number or the item number. And here I would have the name of the item. And over here, I'm going to have the description of the item. The quantity follows here. The unit price. The total cost of a specific item. All right. So probably I want to have about 10 items I'm selling right now. So one, two. All right, so that is fine for me. And for the first item is called item one. Second item is called item, item two. So over here, I'm going to highlight the two numbers and come over to the beneath right of my second cell where I have this plus sign symbol and then pull it down probably to uh, uh, the 11th row. The same thing here as well. So as for this, because of the first, we can actually highlight these two cells and then double click on this point to get it automated. And then here we have description, so I can do it with that for now, so I don't need it. So I'm going to right click on that column and just go ahead and delete that column because I don't want it. For the quantity, okay, for each, um, let's say these four, just put some random numbers actually at the moment. Now price for each item, probably item one, is sold for 30. In terms of currency, you can use any of your choice. You know what you want more than I do. So 20, just making up some random numbers here. So 10, six, and probably 50 over here. Okay, so the total cost will be automatically generated. So beneath the total cost, we want to have here Okay, let's change this. Let's change this total cost over here to total price. Okay, so we'll make more sense. So come over down here and make this total cost. And then down here, make this tax. Uh, let's just use a 15% tax at the moment. This should write up called total, just make it total, something like that. Okay, and then this should be called total cost. All right, so here would have our total of that, or the tax would be charged over here, and then here would have a grand total. Okay, so over here. Just down here, I want to have a sign, and then beneath I'll have my name. That is the name of the whoever signed it. Okay, and uh, this position, I want to have the client manager. Yours can be different, I'm just trying to give you a mock-up or a, a, a template. So I'll put here Miss Queen. And down here, I'm going to give this um, account number because an invoice, so it should contain an account number. Uh, so we'll have something like this. Number follows. And then over here, we can have the, what else could we have? We can have a telephone number. 
uh, basically yeah, the telephone number and then um, we'll have some random numbers there and it should contain telephone numbers all right right now we've not added a date so let's come over to the top and set a new rule there go to insert a couple of more okay so right here I want to have um, a client the client name let's say we're dealing with the big bro big bro incorporated and then just before the client we can have here our date and the date is a function we can use to get it let's quickly let me quickly put that in uh, we can use it today function okay we could format that later and then over here i want to have my invoice number which will basically be placed in this cell and then on top of that i want to have my invoice boldly written before the invoice i'm going to have basically an address or something so we can say number two five okay two three four that came let me just type in two three four uh, whatever number okay so great road of no problem street all right so before that we're gonna have a um, uh, invoice boldly written invoice uh oh invoice very good okay so i'm going to have this bold okay i'm going to use the area of black for that okay area of black for that at the moment and um guys i want to increase the spacing in this right now we're going to format the cell right on our home ribbon we can go over to format row height go ahead and use um, a 30 30 will do okay that's fine 30 and then i'm going to use a uh, width column width we'll make that 25 to see what we got that is way too much uh, so i'm going to go over back there to column width change it to let's use um, 15 to get to see what we got all right i think 15 is um a bit cool for us so right now i'm going to pull this all the way to the right and then click on merge and center and that font should actually be in caps okay all right so i'm going to pull that up to 40 okay so make that and center on one more time all right. all right now what can we do here because it's not showing we can pull it down a little bit this way very good all right and then just center it up very good this as well can be centered, measure and centered actually. Okay, and we don't need it to be that tall. All right, guys, so we can need this closely. These two, in fact, these whole cells, the column is way too, is the row? The row height is way too much. So let's just try and then reduce that from 30 all the way to 20. Yeah, 20 is fine okay so now talking about ourselves what can we do to this i'm going to highlight everything currently not everything per se just right from this point where we have the telephone number okay pull all the way to the date then we'll go to the alignment button right here from there we'll go over to alignment and then 
we can use we have horizontal general and then with vertical bottom we can set vertical to center and then we have here wrap text go for that okay so we get something like this guys as you can see go back to the same location just to add some borders horizontally want to also center that and go for ok all right so this is what we got nicely right okay but um my total all of these i want them to be right aligned nicely this way emboldened this should be left aligned nicely so right now guys i'm going to give this a background color or something like yeah like this would not be bad and then my columns here should be given a color that is if you want it anyway you can skip all of this but i'm going to go for okay so the number goes here we're going to generate that automatically i've generated this automatically let's change the date format here by going to format cells And then number, go for date. Let's go in for this format, which is quite cool. Yeah, that that's fine. The name should be the company name. Okay, that's fine. It should be center. All right. So for these columns, they should be significant. So we should place some focus on them. 